Imagine if a highly infectious pandemic, like the Spanish flu outbreak in 1918, that killed more than 50 million people worldwide, happened today. In our modern world that is so connected by land, sea, and air, how long do you think it would potentially take for the pandemic to spread globally? Would you have enough time to react? The answer may surprise you. Now imagine an empty professional hockey rink representing Canada. You arrive early for the game and are the only one in the arena. Unexpectedly, a water pipe running across the rink's ceiling begins to leak a drop. The drop represents a person who has been infected with the flu. One minute later, two drops fall, representing two more people infected with the flu. And then one minute later, it doubles again to four drops, and so on. With the drops doubling in numbers every minute, how much time do you think you will have before the rink fills with water and reaches your seat? Minutes? Hours? Days? Weeks? Months? The answer is approximately 30 minutes. The crazy thing is that after 27 minutes or so, only the ice is covered with water. So sitting high up on your perch, you think you're safe. That you have plenty of time to take action. But due to exponential growth, you really only have about three minutes left before the water completely rises to the top of the rink and infects you with the flu. If a flu pandemic outbreak did go entirely exponential, the speed it would spread across Canada and the world could be deadly. Let that sink in. <laughs>